Quiet weather in the near term with lower rain chances, but as we look at next week, higher rain chances, widespread rain expected, a result of tropical moisture coming in to the Gulf Coast. Let's break down what's happening. We'll start with what's happening right now on the weather map where we do have a front that's splitting our area in half pretty much with northern half our area much drier and our coastal areas dealing with a chance of some showers today, also some clouds. Also have a stalled frontal boundary that is in the Gulf of Mexico and we look deeper in the Gulf of Mexico to this, an area of disturbed weather that has a high chance of development in the next few days into a tropical system that'd be a tropical depression or tropical storm. The next tropical storm name on the list is Francine. This thing is expected to move up along the coast of Texas and into Louisiana. Here's the steering flow around this system. Where is this thing going? Well, it's not expected to come directly towards us. Let's get that out of the way. Not expected to go towards Florida. Not expected to bury itself into Mexico. High pressure building in the middle and upper levels of the atmosphere over the eastern Gulf will steer this thing right along along the Texas coastline, pretty much hugging the Tesla, Texas coastline all the way through here, making a landfall somewhere on the eastern Texas Gulf Coast or uh, central or western Louisiana. Here's a look at some places that need to pay attention to this, especially closely. We're expecting most of the impacts in this darker color here. They'll need to watch this system closely, be ready to prepare for this. There's uncertainties right now in the exact strength of what this thing will be at the end. Most models show a tropical storm, but there's still some uncertainty and the exact track is still slightly uncertain because we do not have a center of circulation yet. It doesn't know exactly where this thing is going to start up, but once we get a center of circulation, we'll figure things out. We have hurricane hunters investigating this thing today today, and as I mentioned, most of the impacts will be in Texas and Louisiana. There will be some wider impacts though as this thing pulls up lots and I mean lots of tropical moisture. There's that low pressure system. This is with the GFS forecast model. These darker blues indicating the tropical moisture as we get to Wednesday. Abundant tropical moisture into our area. Same thing for Thursday. So while we're not getting direct impacts from tropical system in terms of rain or wind, I should say we are going to be getting rain. Also remember that stalled frontal boundary that was in the Gulf of Mexico that is going to be lifting north as well. So the all of these things are working together to give us these higher rain chances for next week. By Friday, this thing starts to push north and some slightly drier air moves in to our area that will lower the rain chances by then. Here are the uh, f possible rainfall totals over the next seven days with this thing. Heavy rain and flooding very possible, especially along the swath where the center of the storm will go. But you notice where that stalled front is as that lifts north, which we're expecting it to do as well. We could see some higher rainfall totals as well. Looking right on the coast around five inches over the next seven days, possibly. However, our inland areas will be much, much drier, only around an inch there. Here are our key messages for this potential system officially designated Invest 91 L right now. Tropical depression or storm likely in the western Gulf with most of the impacts to Texas and Louisiana. However, the entire Gulf Coast We'll be dealing with heavy rain, tropical moisture as this works with a stalled frontal boundary and that moves north and we'll work out some details on it later. One thing I do want to note, high risk rip currents comes into play later in the week. Keep that in mind right now at the beaches, just clouds and a few showers out there. That's going to be the story for today. Isolated showers at the coast with cloudy conditions. However, if you're inland, it is going to be a much drier picture with mainly sunny skies. This afternoon temperatures getting up into the middle 80s for a good chunk of the area. It looks like a very pleasant day for much of our area. More clouds come in on Monday and then those rain chances ramp up by next week.